You guys should hear me now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Awesome. Awesome. Beep, beep. Hey, Zach. Hey, Aslan. Hey, everyone back. We've uh, we got some... I'm going to push the mic out of my face. We got some sad news. We're not going to be getting our two other uh, developers in today. Uh, so we're going to do a little something different than what I had originally planned. But don't worry, it's still going to be fun. And it's still going to be entertaining. Let's see, let me just uh, give myself a little zoom in here so we can get rid of that uh, side screen. There we go, look, I'm back in the, in the green screen. So you guys, we have both Alicia and Brandon are uh, awesome heads of their departments are going to be streaming with us next week. But we still have some cool stuff to show you. Continuation on the character. I have some, do you see this? I have some bugs to tweak first here. Get this out of the way. Um, you can see she's she's come along quite nicely. I bet you guys really like this Kimmy. Aw, oh, thanks guys, it's okay that you have me. Well, I'm back and I'm here. I'm also gonna be making a coin today for everyone that wants one. Well, not that wants one, but eventually who's gonna be able to use them? The uh, empty case. We'll be 3D modeling one of those up today. That's gonna be a lot of fun. As always, I got my liquid death. It's just canned water. Maybe they should sponsor us, so I'm gonna reach out to them. And today we're just going to be talking about the game and the engine. That's going to be our main topics for this evening. So I hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's doing quite well. Uh, I guess to start off, this is our third top secret live stream. And we, you know, have about seven viewers. If you guys could reach out to other people and get them on board, that would be wonderful. I think, you know, I think we need a background, though, first. Let's, let's add a background in here. I'm realizing the black is just not creative enough. So if you give me one second, I'm going to find a nice, a nice simple background for us. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I put it all the way in front of us. There we go. Oh, and where did I go? <laughs> I'm back. There we go. Ah, nice background. It's it's our very own background that's going to be on our website coming up soon. I hope you guys are excited. I sure am. I can't wait to release what we're going to show you guys. Hey, Moonland Holder. All right, so this is our one of our characters that we've built with the character creator. Um, I have a new video coming pretty quickly about what you guys are going to want when it comes to this. We're going to have um, the characters driven by our own in-game models. And let's take a look. So I had one of our team members make me a video of them going through the character creator to an extent that uh, I feel like will really give you guys a lot more of the ability. To, let's let's just put this on repeat, full screener, and I'll give you a little preview. So last week you got to see the new menu system. Well, this week Brandon has populated the menu system. Hey, Aslan, I'm so sorry. Our guests today are offline. We are, are, let me pause this and I'll talk to you. So our main tech lead, he's uh, a lot of the driving force be behind this character creator. And I think his internet cut out today. So he's getting that looked at and fixed. So he's gonna come back in next week. And Alicia, too, I think we should all come in as a team. So just hold tight one more week, and you'll have to meet two more of the, the, the ever-growing team. 
But Brandon and Alicia will be your, your guests next week. Same frame, down here, and down there, they will be here with us. And we'll be splitting the screen between all three of ours so we can share it. And you guys will get to see all three of us work on this project. Once a week, every Friday. All right, so I'm going to continue this, though. Uh, you guys can take a, just a gander at the character creator and what we're doing with it. You can see here, we have all the colors. Uh, this is from the new color palette that I think I showed last week. And Brandon's going to show off a new slider he added, which is the roughness slider. This allows you to tweak the shininess or the matte look of your character. And that's going to be across the board for all the different uh, materials and surface types. Here you can see some of the glasses coming in. Uh, don't mind the materials, we still have a lot to tweak on them, but I think that it's really coming along pretty, pretty snazzy. You can see all the different headphones that he's added in, and the hats. Yeah, it's quite nice. What do you guys think? I wish he'd turn the character around a bit here. There, that's what we need. Don't worry, next week we'll also all be running a build of the game, so you guys will get to first-hand look at this in real time. I just really wanted to get you guys tuned in here to see this side of things, as it really is coming along much faster than I would ever have hoped. Hope you guys can hear me all right. I'm just reaching up for my microphone, make sure it's at max volume. Ah, 10 viewers. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming to the stream. As we can see, Let's go back a tiny bit. All right, here. He's starting to add all the sliders for the different shapes for the face. Uh, we're gonna exaggerate these even more, I think, but we've just wanted to make sure that the technology behind this was running so that in the, oh, Quantum Chris. Hi, Quantum Chris. That reminds me, I have a friend Chris I need to send this stream to. Thanks, thanks for the reminder. Um, I'll be showing you some of the new menu stuff, but keep keep watching. This is basically just uh, our eventual character tweaking, uh, like, you know, any other character creator. We really wanted to give the players the ability to, um, what did I coin the tagline? Uh, be yourself, I think it was. Uh, because we want you, as the person that is actually playing, to represent who you want to be whether it's yourself or someone else. And we don't really mind. So here you can see the jacket. He's got all tuned in and we're gonna have more jackets for you too. I think I showed last week some of them, but I'm gonna show more uh, after this video. But you can see he's got a lot of good uh, content in there. And really with the addition of the roughness slider, it really, shows what the uh, the range. I think we're upwards in a billion different combinations pre the roughness slider. So you're looking at a lot of variety for just a simple character. And as I said before, this is all running in Unity. Uh, it'll be in the web browser. You'll be able to play the character creator there and take a deeper look into what uh, each aspect of this is. Um, you'll be able to customize the gloves, the jackets, all the accessories. Oh, hey, guys. Thanks. Yes, Arslan, I'm so sorry that there are no guests this week, but I promise you that next week we'll have them on board and will be here with us talking about this too. This week you just stuck with me again. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you still enjoy this stream. You guys are getting the very first hand look at what the character creator is. Um, and I know you, a couple of you have already seen this before, but it really, really is going to be uh, fully customizable to the point where you'll buy color packs from friends. People will spend hours pixel painting the different designs that we're gonna allow people to use as patterns on each one of these shaders. 
Um, and if you don't know what a shader is, it's uh, see how each part of the character's shoes here have a different color. Well, each one of those has a different material to uh, drive how the look and color and roughness and feel is of that specific surface. So when I refer to a shader, or I guess I should say a material, that's what I'm more referring to. But as you can see, Brandon had a lot of fun color tweaking each individual aspect of his model. All right, guys, this is just about to wrap up here. We're going to, yeah, I hope you like the little effects. I think we should make them a little faster, but as you can see, he's going back in to give the character a nice little haircut. I prefer the matte look, personally. All right, so that's the, the new character creator. Let me just pull this down. So I'm just going to work on this girl for a second, um, but before I do, I want to switch out and show you guys something that I thought was very cool. The, the uh, menu system that you saw in that video is about to be redesigned. So if you can see here, I've taken it and oh, I guess I should move the chat's all in front of it. Well, that's okay. I'll move the chat. Let's, let's move the chat. Where should the chat go? Maybe the chat will... No, not that one. Let's grab the chat and move it up here. You guys can be in the top corner. How do you like that? All right, so this is the menu system we have. I don't, I shouldn't cover my mouth. This is the menu system that we have. It's much better than the old side menu. But if you see, this is what we're about to go to. This is the new menu that is getting implemented right now. Um, how do you guys like the look of that? I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, the community is what's driving this design. And I want you guys to help pick stuff that really makes you uh, want to play in our multiverse metaverse. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the new design for the menus. I, I think that they're gonna, uh, the hexagon look is probably across the board. Um, Similar to the Y2K fashion stylings, just something that everyone's going for these days. Uh, I personally, I, I like the look of it. Uh, as soon as Brandon implements that, you guys will see this in the game. Nice, thanks Arsland. I'm glad you're ready to help. I'm so happy you're here. All right, I'm gonna bring this guy down here because we're gonna do, as this is, it's a development stream. So I want to do a little bit of development in here. We're just gonna turn off the fancy shading and I'm gonna do a little sculpting on this guy so that we can let the headphones come right in, okay? So let's just do this, go to sculpting. Okay, so we're just gonna even this out a bit. Just punch it in a tiny bit, just where the headphones are. I'm just gonna give it a little Bit of a happy, happy wrinkle. A little bit happier. See, we'll just round that off a tiny bit. Crunch it in just a bit so we'll we'll see a bit more of that, and we'll see what that looks like. Let's see. Yeah, that that's looking a little bit better. And you know, it would crunch in a tiny bit if it was pressing on the um the the thing, the hoodie. So, oh, I realized I'm not mirror modeling, but that's okay. This is just for the stream. I just wanted to get get the look of it. And we're also going to take a look at the hair too. So let's just go back to our modeling mode and just quickly grab that hair. See that there? Yeah. We're going to we're going to expand. Oh, hi guys. Looks so beautiful. Moonland. Looking forward to it. Well, stay tuned for this uh, stream. We're going to right now I'm just fixing up some of this this hoodie here for the um, the bear hoodie, so we can get a little bit more deformation in for the characters, so things don't uh, interact as much as they, they are at the moment. And then we're gonna look at the Unreal Engine 5. So I don't know if you guys know much about game engines, but so far the 
character creator, this guy right here, uh, let me just turn off the tablet, this one, this video is all created with Unity. So this is all created inside the game engine Unity. And, oh, YouTube bro, hey guys. Hey, you guys want to know? Maybe I'll have to wait till next time to let you know. But we realized our, yeah, it is the newest one, but our character creator, this right here, could allow you to mint your own characters. I'll let that one settle in. Or should I repeat it? You will be able to mint your own player characters. Of course, there's always gonna be a free option. What that is, is yet to be uh, shown off. But let's go back to the tablet for a moment. And we'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit more sculpting here okay guys i just want to um i really want to get this to a point where it's it looks good i want it to look real good and we're we're not mirror modeling right now because it will just be okay sometimes chaos is the better way Oh, what about clothes? We're gonna buy them. Uh, or an MMO system. Uh, can you describe what you mean by an MMO system? Do you mean like a barter system or a, a marketplace? Um, of course, all games will have marketplaces, including ours. Uh, but what it's gonna have is, is completely gonna be different than what we usually do. Let me, I'm just reading the comments here. Thanks guys for tuning in and, and piping up. I see we have 17 full on viewers right now. Welcome everyone, welcome. Yeah, I'm just reading Zach, thanks Zach. Uh, oh yes. So, <laughs> thanks guys. You will be able to do a magnitude of different things. We want you so we use the software Blender because it's open source. And the very end goal of this is to let players build their own characters. But when you let people import their own 3D models, you have to deal with so many other strifes. And I don't mean cloud strifes. <laughs> you have to deal with so many things, <laughs> cringe. Uh, you have to deal with things that are like uh, the bones, the writing, the, the texture sizes, the way it's all laid out, and then the difference of animations. So what we'd like to do is create a system that's inside the open source software that allows players to build blend shapes, which is you take the base character and then you can sculpt like I'm doing here. You can see how this like, oh, I'll, I'll exaggerate right now so you guys can really see. See, let's just, uh, I'm just gonna save this as a separate file in case I screw something up. Let's just save it as, Oh, you guys get to see the top secret naming conventions. Uh, 28, let's do 29. Testers. Which you guys are all gonna be lucky testers of the game, you know that, right? But yeah, do you see how I'm sculpting? Well, you don't want to give people super freedom. So what we're gonna actually have, and if I switch to gre grease pencil here for a second, let's see if I can pull that up. So. We'll have a cage that limits the ability to, so like, say it'll be like that. So the player wouldn't actually be able to sculpt outside of that cage. So when they import our default models, they're gonna be able to actually edit them and upload them and people will vote on the ones that they like. You can always use yours. But let's just uh, kill off those annotations. Menu, uh, view, annotations, and let's just hide that. Okay, so back to the sculpting. Let's go back all the way. You just want to get a little bit. Oh, I'm still annotating. And 
my annotations came back because I had to, had to undo that. So I'm just going to turn them off again. Boom. Now we're back to Sculpting. So just, just a little bit to cover that up. There we go. You see, that's... Uh, I want to get a little bit more in here. Nah. You know what? Let's see. How do you think that's going to look, guys? Let's test it out. I can hear my computers just buzzing. Oh yeah, we get enough ambient occlusion in there that really folds it in. It doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Let's zero it out. How does that look, you guys? I think that's looking much better. Yeah. That's good to go. Oh, Day Razor, welcome back. Uh, maybe you've been here the whole time. I haven't seen you comment. Um, uh, Zach... So uh, there's something I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about yet, but that's our in-game currency. That's the gems. So gemstones are something that in our game we're going to have that allows people that don't want to use NFTs or don't want to um, hook up their wallet, but also who are willing to lose their items. You know, in space, it's a vacuum and no one can hear you scream. I need like cringe icons like... Oh, my camera's backwards. I need to also set that up. Let's fix that right now. Uh, that's going to frustrate me because, like, I want it to come in the right angle. Where's my... It's, I called it just me. Let's see. Can I just reverse the camera? I'll show you guys. This is what I'm doing. So you can see the me of the me of the me. And we have... Why not just, oh, there we go. Ah, flip vertically? <laughs> hey guys, I'm upside down. I guess this is much better for a space podcast. Let's do, why is it, why is there a flip vertically, but no flip horizontally? Do you guys see the flip horizontally? Oh, you know what? Maybe we have to do it in the camera software. Let's try that. I have this little panel here. Let's me control it. Let's see. Should we zoom in? Ah! No. But I don't think it. I don't think it has it. Let's see. Uh, settings. No. Sorry guys, I'm backwards. Not that you care, but I care. Oh hey, there you guys. Uh... Oh hey, yeah, Razor. Did you get to see the new character creator? I guess not. I'll show you that again. <laughs> Inception. All right, I, I think this guy's pretty good to go. Just a couple tweaks. That's all that there really was. Hey, bonus points to anyone that knows where this is. Can anyone tell me where this is? And I'll I'll let you know it's not America. Razor, yeah, we decided that we could use, we have over a billion combinations. So we could use our character creator to create NFTs. All right, hold on one sec, I'll pull it up. Yeah, Kimmy's gonna come, we're gonna have to make Kimmy, uh, do you guys know about VTubers? Ah, look up Catnip, welcome back. I really want to have you on as a guest. But why are you talking about Russia? All right. Uh, for Razor and for Look Up Catnip, hold to, on to your horses. We're going back to the character creator. So let me just zoom back. We're going to play this again. For anyone new to the um, channel, check this out. This is awesome. Nice. Korea Global. Yeah. So you guys just take a look at this. This is our character creator. It's starting to come along so well. We're so close to letting you play it. Wouldn't it be interesting if you had to whitelist or find the secret path to our Discord to be able to play with it for the first time? Ma! 
ah, why don't we just do it? The first 50 people to find our Discord, which you won't yet, but I'll leave clues between this, this week and the coming weeks, you will get a chance to play with our character creator for the first time. You want one, Zach? Yeah, of course. Well, I have a preview of some of the different combinations that we have achieved at the end of this stream. Uh, when's Alpha? Well, you know, uh, Razor, I think you're coming in here late. You didn't hear the, maybe you can view up on the chat. Um, sorry, I'm always looking forward because I have everything on a laptop up here. I'm, uh, oh, no, I'm not going to give you the Discord link just yet. Um, that's, again, you're going to have to work for it. Discord's our most private space. That's where we, we uh, talk as a group and we want to include you guys. So uh, eventually we'll just drop the Discord link, but until then, it's going to be a little bit. So yeah, you can see all the different sliders now. We have all the face textures and everything too. Yeah, I'd say, so Alpha, Alpha is a stage that we're not willing to submit to yet. We wanna make sure that some of our concepts that we've been fleshing out on, uh, we call them gymnasium prototypes, so inside the different gyms, we're testing out each core uh, gameplay aspect. And the next big one, we've got the playability of the character. We, we feel like it, as we prototyped in Unity, it looks like the physics-based animation is really the way to go uh, so that players can get that goofy look to them and also maybe customize their animations in the future with style sliders. But for now, We've taken a step back and looked at our choices out there and really wanted to look at when we launch, how can we be in the charts at the top? And we have such beautiful character designs now. How can we match that with such beautiful environments? Nice, yeah. Nice, Zach. Well, our goal for that is to launch our first multiplayer demo. Take what we've learned from Unity and all the prototypes that we've created and launch our first multiplayer demo on Unreal 5. And you're gonna see that within the next month. We're gonna have something to show you, something we're going to import all of our assets and all of the learning we've done in Unity, and we're going to pump that into the new Unreal 5. And I want to take you guys on a little ride this time. This trip, or this stream, we're going to go on a trip. And we're going to go on a trip down the Unreal Engine 5 rabbit hole. And I'm going to show you how beautiful this game could be. And don't worry. Our character creator is still going to be on the web. Our whole, all of our assets, our whole character creator right here that we're developing is going to be WebGL on our website for you to play, and I'll be the one to tell you when it launches. But we've decided that to get the quality and the future proofing that we need, we're going to go with Unreal Engine 5. It won't, it will be awesome. Yeah, the game, we, we've been using Unity for a while, and it's, it's, it's amazing. But to onboard, and to be honest, the multiverse and the metaverse are both inside Unreal. Unreal has been used for some of the top quality games, and we want to be able to have people import, purchase those assets when 3D NFTs come out, the proper 3D NFTs, and we want people to be able to purchase that and play them in the game. Yeah, so 
all the assets that we use for both engines are almost identical. So we're going to use all the assets we've created here in our character creator. And your, char your character will be created and put in your wallet. So in the Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer arena, you'll be able to sync with that and use your character and re-edit your character because your NFT will be your game pass. I love some of these wacky hairstyles. Like, oh, I, I have a, I have mostly a fro too, so I'm loving it, really digging it. So the idea for Moonland first, oh, I just heard something strange. The idea will be that we want to be a solid, what can I say? We want to stick to the roots of games. We want to be a solid game for PC and Mac OS so that people, the core audiences can play. But with the Unreal Engine 5, uh, if limitations are lifted, consoles, the, the sky is the limit really once it comes to these new game engines. Uh, the new processing power from the new consoles, all of the new PCs and cloud gaming is going to make this available for everyone. We're going to bring Moonland to the masses. That's our goal. And I'm going to be here until that happens. I spent too many hours of my life working on FIFA and other sports franchises not to let this become something that I want to play and build. And I want the community to get the ability to build inside Moonland as well. All right, guys, that's enough of the character creator. Let's go on to something next. Let's take a quick look at some of the, the recap of this week, okay? We have quite a few things coming down the pipe. Uh, we decided that one of the big things was we needed our first arena to be the moon. So I'm going to load up the moon for you guys right now. Just give me one second. And I will load you guys. This is the newest moon. Oh, hey, I'm just reading your chats. What are you guys saying? So many chats. Uh, yeah, we will rock. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for sure. It's very promising. Thank you. I mean, there's so much content and availability that with even, oh, my mic's in the way again. Even with a medium to large team, you could produce a triple A quality game with Unreal 5. The tutorials, the ability to get assets from their marketplace allows players to come in and become developers. And this is gonna be one of the first times that that might actually be a possibility. Oh, I get it. It looks like that my camera zoomed back out again. One moment, please. I think when I close my camera software, it must... Uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's get back into that green screen zone. There we go. I can bring the mic back down, and I can talk loud again. As my mic stand tries to hit me in the face. See? See what I'm talking about? There it is. You're trying to hit me in the face. All right, guys. I think it's time. You get a piece of the Moonland metaverse for the first time. And I'm just calling this environment Crater. It's just the Crater Arena because it is going to be the way that we go uh, forward. Um, having some technical glitches with my camera. Sorry, guys. trying to find the uh, environment crater. There we go. Okay, here we go. Coming at you. What do you want? 3D viewer or two, 20 viewer, please? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. All right, here you guys go. So let's zoom out, 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 out. Whoa. There we go. So this is our first ever 
creator or crater. Um, our concept word artists right now are working very hard at getting this concept into our style. Day razor, yeah. You felt yourself in war talk. Uh oh. So yeah, 23 viewers, nice. So here we go. This is the scale of our upcoming multiplayer environment. We've been designing this in Unity, but we decided that the Unreal Engine 5 would be the real, the real place to put this. So this is a character that we're taking over. We had our concept artists come up with uh, four distinct different spacesuit types that I think you guys are gonna love. So here's a couple of them. Right here. Take a look at that while I adjust my camera again. I'm just gonna fix it. Let's see. Can I zoom out a tiny bit? No. I guess not. I guess that's where we are. There we go. That's that's fine enough. You guys can see me. It's okay. It's okay. So yeah, this is the spacesuits. These are uh, we've actually done a little bit of modification. So what we've done is we've taken the arms from the, the one on the far left, uh, this guy right here. We've taken the, the boots from this guy and most of the body and helmet from this guy. So we're starting to do production on, uh, we were just gonna let people play the characters from the character creator. And we thought, you're in space and you're on the moon. We need to give you a space suit. So our concept artists, we approached them and we said, we need some space suits. And so eventually we'll be building almost all of these and more, but we want to introduce the first ever multiplayer space battle from Moonland. And that'll be the first game you guys get to try. And because we were building it in Unity and there was just some parts of it that when a, when a character would die or anything, we wanted more. We wanted more, we wanted it to look better. We wanted it to look amazing. So we decided to take this and we're putting this into Unreal, the Unreal Engine. This right here, and this is gonna be our battle arena that you guys will fight in, in a very interesting comedic style. And I'm not gonna ruin that yet. So that's our little, part of space. And I think now it's a good time. Yeah, moon suits. Yeah, moon suits. So I'm going to close this and we're going to go on to um, first, uh, let me just show you again, you know, you, you guys liked the design, but I, I think some of you weren't here yet quite yet. So as you can see here, we're changing the design of our care, our menu too. This is our old menu system. We're updating it to this. Give me ships, yeah. So we've been discussing ships, but you know, there's a lot of games, No Man's Sky, uh, that have spent so much time working on ships. We really have come up with an original idea, but we want to do pets first. Our goal is to allow players to have the ability to live in the land, whatever that means to you yet. I'm gonna move this down a tiny bit more. So whatever living in the land means to you, that might be coming soon. But we also want players to be able to just use pets and fight with pets because it's the, the best, uh, what can I say? It's way more fun. Uh, in a game when you see everyone multiplayer and the game isn't about killing mobs and it's not about training animals and it, it's, it's more just about finding uh, parts, uh, exploring and uh, cloning, which I think is how we're, our breeding system is going to work. Uh, cloning and genetics to make our eggs that can make any pet. Robots, um, Borg dano probes, dragons, turtles, whatever you want. Little giraffe. We're gonna come up with all different styles and we're gonna come up with a pet creator, just like our character creator. 
So you can pull and design the different shapes for our pets. You can add different horns and you might even be able to mint them as NFTs and sell them to your friends or trade them or compete with them. Yep, the launch is close. The, the character creator will launch very soon. Oh, thanks, yeah. Yeah, pets are cool. Yep, that's the idea is you'll, you'll have to travel around the moon sphere, the, the orbit of the Earth, which is where the moon has exploded and the pieces all lay, and you will find the different monsters that exist there. And instead of fighting them, you'll have to sneak on, sneak around them and find their uh, genetics to bring them back to one of the aliens that originated on the moon. But I'm gonna leave that part to later too. There's a lot of story that I can't wait to show you. Yeah, I really want, like fighting each other eventually. We've talked about how uh, boss battles could be spawned in the cities and crates of weapons could be dropped, but we're still not quite sure on that. That's why we wanna concentrate on pets. It's just such a, a much nicer, uh, uh, friendlier, and uh, you can picture this. These early games in the metaverse are like multiverses themselves, trying to get everyone comfortable with going back in and chatting to real people and playing with real people. 26 viewers, thanks everyone. Uh, I, if you're tuning in, you can see that I'm just showing off the, the old menu system and kind of a concept for a new menu system. I'm gonna close this now because we're about to, uh, let's, yeah, sure, let's save it. Um, we're about to jump into the Epic Games Launcher. So right here, oh, there we go. We're gonna do a couple things. I think the first one though, we should really look at is probably the Valley of the Ancients because this is hands down, one of the best uh, examples of how detailed the moon in Moonland could become. Hey guys, thanks, good, glad you're all good. I'm just, oh, hey, welcome new people. I, I think though this is gonna take a little bit. So while this loads up, let me show you. So of course, this is the moon. This is the crater environment that I was just showing you. A couple shots of it. Just for scale for our concept artists. I think you guys really like that. So that's that's quite good. Um, next up, I wanna show you. So our concept artists are amazing. Uh, they, oh, they have done some spectacular work. And here's a piece that I think you guys will all really like. Take a second to, to look at that. It's got quite a lot of detail going on. We have a very, a style we're gonna try to strive to make perfect in 3D, but we really wanna bring out the saturation, the colors, and really the look of Moonland. We want it to be kind of comedic, you know? We want it to be fun. We want people to have a good time. And that's why we've hired some concept artists that are the wackiest bunch, and I love them. So we're going to be, yeah, so talented too, right? Like, look at this. Look at the crazy concepts they're coming up with. I can't wait to build that one. Maybe we'll build that on stream. It's just such a, just a, ah, oh, it gets me excited as you can tell. All the different angles and options and, and just, you know, what we're really uh, striving for. Man, maybe not the pineapple tree, <laughs> but you know, we've got a lot of concept coming down the pipe. Yeah, thanks guys, thanks. Bring them on, bring them on. Let's get up to 100 viewers. Do 100 people wanna join us in Moonland? The first 100 people to join the chat maybe get something extra. So yeah, just, you know, moon junk, moon junk, all right. I'm gonna move on to another couple of pictures. Uh, we're, we're already loaded, but I just wanna show you uh, the future of our character. So not only are our concept artists hard at work on all the different props and environments, but we're trying to come up with the most 
uh, stylized look for their characters, for their eyes, for each and every one of them. We're hand sculpting these different facial features and you'll find those included in the sliders when you're making your character in the web browser. Um, we haven't tested on mobile yet, but if it works in the web, it probably will work on most higher end phones. So as you can see, we're really coming along. We've got all the progress that we like. And let's see. I should show off this one. So like I said, our character creator can be used to create all sorts of different uh, assets. And internally, maybe sometimes we joke a little bit. This is not something we could include as an actual uh, prop in Moonland, but for all you guys, uh, this is something I find absolutely hilarious our artists snuck in. This won't be included in the final thing, of course, but I'm sure I can show it off on the, on the stream. And that's a Nicolas Cage match or mask. Isn't that hilarious? I love this one. Oh, first chime. Oh, hey. Twitch is already telling me to buy viewers. Wow. That didn't take long. Awesome, guys. Welcome to the... Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Okay. Let us see how this is going to work. Will this work or won't it? Uh, control space. I got to pull up the map. Oh, we're already in the maps. Um, we're in the startup map. We're not the. I think this one. So again, this is all going to take a little bit. I'm running this all off a, a high-end laptop, but it's still a laptop nonetheless. So you have to hold on. Hold on your, to your horses, guys. It's OK. Twitch bots just mean we're getting up there in views. Ah, uh, here we go. We get out of the ground. Hope you guys can all see this. This is a crazy. This is this is all running in real time. If you can see, look at how close you can get to the ground. This is why we are, we are choosing Unreal Engine Five for Moonland. The speed at which this engine. Let's see. Let's see, get, get closer. Look at that. Look look at that detail. It's just too good. Yeah. Now let's let's hit play and see what happens. Okay guys, it might switch to another monitor, but I hope not. Let's just try it out. It's gonna give it a second and we'll see what happens. If you can kinda I guess you can't see the mm, down there, in the very bottom, there's a map. And that shows all the renderable area right now. So it's, uh, it's frozen, which means it's loading. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. This is running in real time, guys while I'm streaming and everything else. Yeah, you're gonna be able to watch the stars. Oh. Look at that, look at how gorgeous that is, guys. Look at the beauty in that. Oh, turbo, shift. Wow. Now that is beautiful, isn't it? Let's go up here. Can we go all the way up? Look at that. 
Gorgeous view. Let's go. Actually, let's jump back in. Let's play again. I, I didn't need to exit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look like this quality of detail, but we're gonna have our style added in. Oh. What is X? X? Oh, just the X key. Now uh, that makes sense. Here we go. Let's walk around the environment. Now imagine our style of characters, but on the moon here in Moonland. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to be this. Oh. What's happening? I haven't actually played this yet. I wanted to save it for you guys. Oh. oh, it even says this transition may take a while to finish. If this is your first time entering the dark world uh, in the editor, uh, hang tight. Assets are being processed the bat in the background and we'll fade back in when complete. All right, guys This is just a white zone now as you can see um, I can't really move my mouse outside of anything. It's basically gone inside. Oh, there it is yeah, Okay, but I can't see it inside the editor. So we're just gonna wait um, I think because I'm streaming this is happening No, our characters aren't gonna look like that. Don't worry. This is not, this is just a demo that they've made in the Unreal Engine to show off the quality. Our character is going to look like our characters. Let me pull up a couple too while this loads, okay? Oh, I just heard some. I just heard something. I guess I can't uh, exit this until it's done. So, I might have to just kill it. Yeah, no, our, oh, there we go. Look, check that out, whoa. So imagine our characters that you saw before, but with this quality of lighting, and this is just so epic. Oh, I can slow her down so we can walk. Look at, look at how beautiful that looks. This is what the newest, highest end games are gonna all look like. Oh, can I die? No, there's a collision. It doesn't let me go off the cliff, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I can shoot. Whoa, guys. This is wild. The quality of this is just unbelievable. Let's see, can I destroy this whole thing? Look at that destruction level. This is a very, very nicely done environment. Look at this, the quality that's in here. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, it took me a little while to actually sell Unreal on the team because a lot of games these days that are coming out in this field are web-based and a web-based web game is they're they're just more versatile like there's more uh you can play it on your phone you can play it everything uh yes this this won't be in moonland this is just a test demo i'm showing you guys off the graphics that are going to be capable in this, in our game too. So, as you can see, I'm just playing this uh, this demo to try it out. Oh, can I go across there? Do you think I have to blow that up? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I've never played this demo before, so let's uh. 
I think we should load up another one and I could show you guys some of the coolest art that we created this week. How's that sound? Oh, errors, errors, errors. So let's just close out of this guy. Close out of this guy, close out of this guy, close out of this guy, close out of that guy, and let me show you some stuff, okay? Let me show you. First, let's do... Let me load back up uh, one of the other uh, examples. What do you think? Metahumans or... Let's do the city. You guys are gonna be astounded. We, we took a, personally, I took a look at this one and I was blown away. I realized the amount of quality of detail we can build in Moonland is infinite. So this is why we're choosing the Unreal 5 engine. So as I wait for that to load, how about we show off some of our latest top secret assets. Okay. Okay, guys, you are gonna have to hold on to your horses for one second. I got this. Uh, just looking for my Kimmy folder and then my output. Originally, they were called Moonlanders, but you might see a collection come out called Moonland Punks coming soon. And what you're going to see there is something like this. So let's take a little dally. Let's take a little dip into the Moonland verse. So if you remember the, what we were just looking at, this is gonna be the quality of our characters in that level of uh, embeddedness. And yeah, these are Kimmy, but they're also everyone else. This is all the different variations you can do with the abilities to create characters. We literally have everything going forward. You know what, I don't think this is the right batch. One second. I guess it is. I think we still have to work on some, some of our rules then. But these are, these are the, uh, the Kimmy Moonland characters. These are all the Moonland characters that you're gonna see in Moonland. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, right now, we have to make sure, I guess, I, I thought the, the, the rules were set up properly, but I guess they're not, so it's going to be a little hard to go. But you see these guys? These are all you. This is you in the future. These are your characters. You're going to use our character creator to build what we want to build. Hope you're enjoying this. This is a super top secret. Yeah, don't they look cool? But you see right now the headphones are popping in. They, there's some bugs, as you can tell. There's some definite bugs. But, you know, I love these guys. Oh yeah. Super cute Moonland elf ears. I love the panda hat. Oh, and the sucker mask. Who doesn't love the sucker mask? What do you guys think, huh? I'll show you a couple more. And then we'll come back to them. Look, it's almost like it looks like me. I guess we still have a ways to go. There's still some bugs, but there's a good one. Nice little Moonland girl. All right, guys, it's time to skip back in. Take a look at the quality that we're gonna get.
more more time practically? What do you mean by that? You saying I'm not working hard enough? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because I'll tell you, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's do the big city level. Here we go. It's loading. Please wait. Really appreciate all the viewers, you guys. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for taking a look. Uh, it's been a, it's been a really fun time, you know. We really got to get the the subscription up. Let's see, what are we at? We are at. I don't even know how you check your subscribers. I'm live right now, so I guess I can't. Let's see. Let me go to my Moonland page. Let me take a look. Twenty-seven. Oh, guys, we need fifty. Come on up. Yeah, it's gonna be so rad. Let's keep going, looking through these guys while that loads. I love this one. This one's so cute. It really is just like, it's a very beautifully done little um, character. We could call her Susie. How's that? Oh yeah, thanks man. It's gonna, it's, I think the way we're concentrating on it is not like something like Fortnite. We're not concentrating on killing each other in the game. We're concentrating on helping each other. Uh, besides when we build the spaceships and besides when the pets are there. And you know, maybe we'll just have to have free for all battles. Um, I have been trying to pitch to the team the idea of racing as well. Uh, hover car racing, ship racing. We got so many options because we're the moon, guys. We're the moon. Uzi, Susie Uzi. Yeah, this is Susie Uzi. And who's this? And this, and this. Oh, here's your first look at the eye patch too. Yeah, she's cute, isn't she? Very nicely done. I love our clean and crisp, clear character look. It just really, I guess it vibes. Oh, there's an anonymous. I love the frog hat too. The froggy is just too cute. Ah, my favorite headphones, the cat ear. If you guys, yeah, snake girl. Let's see if we can find another uh, snake eyes. They're actually cat eyes. Uh, we also have spiral eyes, but those are really rare. So I don't know if you'll see them today. I love them. All of our styles are just getting so cool. They're so nice. Okay, guys, check this out. Look at the quality of this crazy nonsense. Now imagine these are spaceships, not cars, but they're your spaceship in Moonland. You can jump right in and play. Right inside. Get in here. Oh, do, do the river mirrors work? Oh, they do. Jump in from car to car. They're in the Unreal Engine. Isn't that nuts? Look at that. Look at this. Like, the quality is just beyond what you would think you would normally see. Minus that they're kind of... What is all this stuff? What is this, a bag of chips? This car's been eating chips, guys. But do you see the quality and detail in here? Yes, you're looking at the future right now. This is the future of video games. Can I select this? Can I frame it? Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, it tossed me outside of the city. Let's go back in. 
Look at all those things. It's crazy. It's so wild. Here's a car parking lot. Look at that. Look at that detail, guys. Can you even understand? From my perspective, working in games for so many years, this is so crazy. Hey, first time chat from viewer. Hi, everybody. This is just crazy. Now, oh, there's an ad. The quality is so crazy that you can get to that you can just build basically any geometry you want. They've come up with a way. Uh, I haven't figured out the dev tools yet, but they have a way that when the geometry is not on the screen, look, it's you can't even see it mip mapping, but that little cord right there in the center is going to disappear. Is it? It's still there. Guys, how are they doing this technology? How is this the highest resolution ad board I've ever seen? Now just wait till that says Moonland. Welcome guys, welcome to the chat. We're just taking a look. Um, for everyone new here, we're looking at the Unreal Engine 5. We have decided that this is the engine that we're gonna go with. We will get the qual. Look at the quality in that tarp. Look at that ad there. Look at that quality, you guys. Even the pole has normal maps that previously wouldn't be undoable. Would not be possible to do this kind of a detail. So while well, we're looking at this, let's hit play. Let's see what happens. This is going to take a little bit, guys, but let's just see what happens, OK? Thanks, Arsland. Please promote Moonland. We're we're just getting started with this transition. And that's one of the reasons I decided we should stream. And like you see down below, we're gonna have two more streamers soon. We're gonna have guests, special guests, everyone on. We can all talk, we can all enjoy. Um, so yeah, it's it's loading, it's loading. So just give it a sec. Uh, I might take this opportunity to go use the bathroom. Is that allowed on the stream? Are you allowed to go to the bathroom? What am I supposed to do, huh? You guys tell me, am I allowed to go to the bathroom? Or do I have to sit here for the next hour and watch my bladder explode? Keep drinking my coffee. Ah. I'm so excited that you guys are excited with Moonland. Okay, well, no one's talking. We still have 19 viewers, but I'll be right back, okay guys? You just hold right there. I'll disappear behind the green screen.
Hey guys, I'm back. 23 viewers? Oh man, lots of people here now, eh? Hey guys, how's it going? Korea is here also. Hey, Korea. Of course, hi, Turkey. Of course, yeah. Hello, everyone. So, for all those tuning in right now, we are, we've been discussing Moonland, and we've been showing off some of our newest characters. Oh wow, 23 viewers, hi guys. So we've been talking a lot about our, our character creator. Um, I think I'm gonna have to, before we pop back into Unreal, I'm gonna have to show that off again, you guys. Uh, there's too many new people here. Let's just quickly give a, a little dap dob back into our, uh, what we're working on and our personal products right now. And that's the character creator. So, just gonna pop this back in. Say hello, everyone new to the stream. Uh, this is our new character creator. It's uh, gonna be released in the next little while. No actual dates, I'm gonna tell you. Um, hey, Steadfast Prawn. Wow, nice. I like prawns. Um, so yeah, this is just our character creator. I just wanted to give anyone new the view of it before we pop back in to the Unreal Engine 5. I'm just back from a break and I just want to tell you guys that we've decided that our main game is going to be in Unreal Engine 5. We have looked around at everything else going on and it's going to give us the flexibility to allow users to create their own content and allow it to really be styled like ours and to keep everything consistent because of the quality of the engine. I just, uh, yeah. Am I over-exaggerating my talking? Maybe I should talk a little bit more real. Hello, is this thing on? Hello, hello? Oh, good night. How do you say your name? Why listen? Uh, Allison? I'm not sure. But good night. Thanks for tuning into the stream. And before you go, why don't you just hold on one second? I'm going to show you the, the quick Unreal Engine 5 demo I was loading up. And then you can, you can take off after that. Look at the craziness of the quality of this game. Look at this. Can I jump? No, never can I jump. I don't know why. Look at all these people. This is the future of Grand Theft Auto. Look at this. Look at the quality of this. This is insane. Can I get on top of the cars? No. All I can do is walk into them. Oh, I can fly. You guys want to fly? I think let's just run first. The quality is just insane. I can't imagine this being a full-fledged game. Can you? All right, let's fly. Oh, we don't get to fly with her? That's okay. R to speed up. Okay. Oh, we're, we're glitching out a little bit. I have to tell you, I'm running two 4K monitors right now, so it might be a little glitchy. This is, this is incredible. Can you imagine that our Moonland world is going to be this? High quality. Oh, someone just said that. Is Moonline gonna be this quality? Yes, but with our style. We wanna get as much details in as possible. Like, I want the, the details and things like the signs to be as high quality as these are. But with our style. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever really thought about the style of things. But we really want to do the stylized look. And I was talking to one of my artists earlier today, or maybe it was yesterday, and we were talking about what does that mean? So when you're creating something that's realistic, or if you're creating something that is stylized, 
I, I hate the word cartoony, but if you're creating something cartoony, let's take a look at this clock for instance. This clock here, I'm going to speed down a bit. Do you see the edges of the clock and the, the way the clock looks? So if you were to take the edges of the clock and to round them out, that gives you a cartoony style that goes somewhere between realistic and a cartoon from Saturday mornings. What we're trying to go with is something that's somewhere between there, but that doesn't hit the uncanny valley. We're trying to avoid that as much as possible. Our characters, I don't find them uncanny at all. Um, uh, what graphics card do you need? I'm not sure yet. I am pretty sure we're gonna make the game available so that even this Unreal Engine 5, it's just built on the backbone of Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 can support mobile. It can support VR. It can support anything. Now, to be a developer, you need a high-end computer and a big video card. But to actually be a gamer and to play our game, you're not going to need to. Uh, if I have my way, we're going to stream it as well. So you're going to be able to play it on Google Stadia. Let's fly and explode them. Well, I don't think we can explode anyone in this demo. But we can definitely fly around. I love it. Look at how the. Did you know each one of these characters was created in something called the um, metahumans? And that's. Oh, you can even hear. I don't know. Let me. Uh, let me give you some desktop audio, okay? I think there. Can you guys? Uh, oh, people dissolve when they go into you. Well, that's kind of strange. Can you hear that now? You can hear the street sounds. Look at the reflections on the ground. This is what we want Moonland to be, but in our style, guys. We have some AAA developers. Oh, is that Keanu Reeves? But he's gained a couple pounds. Let's follow him. That's probably Ke that's probably Neo from the Matrix. Where do you think he's going to end up? Let's let's follow him, guys. Let's tag him. Oh. Let's make it an artsy film. Where is chubby Keanu Reeves going? Oh, he's coming this way. Now he's a beetle. Really though, do these characters have a pipeline? So there's so many aspects of this that we're gonna look into because we want this quality for Moonland. Look at this. Look at the quality in this game. Moonland has to be like this. I will not settle for anything less. I wonder if there's a way to just follow someone. Oh, I guess I could just follow him like this. Here we go. We're following chubby Keanu Reeves. Uh, oh yeah, a 3060 would be fine. My specs are 3080 Ti, but um, this game will run on a 1080. Uh, well, Moonland, our Moonland will run on a 1080. Yeah, the reflection details are crazy. Oh, this guy's going into the street. Oh no, he doesn't like to be followed. Do you think we can push him? Is that mean? Should I not push him? I wish I could get in one of these cars and drive it around though, eh? That would be a lot of fun. Hey bud, where are you going? Do you think he's just gonna walk in like a giant square around the town? Very detailed, look at the craziness. Even in the trash cans, oh. There's so much work gone into this. But at the same time, with procedural texturing, uh, array placements, and other uh, programmatic ways of doing things, we may not need as many people as you would think. Agent Kimmy, yeah, ah, uh, guys, you're funny. Where is Agent Smith? I think this is Agent Smith. That's why I've been following him. Oh, 
She really doesn't like walking into these poles. What if I walk into that person? Oh, no, they just move out of the way. We're losing him, guys. We gotta catch up. Let's run. Let's just run into him. He really doesn't like to be followed, though. Look at the reflections in the car. It's just better than any Grand Theft Auto I've ever seen. That's just, it's incredible, you guys. I, I'm blown away more and more. Hey, Jeep Wrangler, nice to see you again. Jeep Wrangler, we have lots of stuff to talk about. Why don't we go take a look at the, do you think there's anything inside these buildings? Let's see. What is it, R to go faster? Let's go. I noticed some parallax when I was walking by, so this wasn't just a texture. There's actually some kind of a, a room in here. I wanted to come take a look. Oh, it looks like it's just, oh, wow. It's actually been done with architecture models. There's uh, low-res sampling inside, but can you see that, guys? There are really rooms inside of here. Now, are they that great looking? No. Does it matter? No. Look at that. Look at that. That is just so beautiful. So nice to see. Do you think we can see the artwork? Or are they all just rendering the same one? I wonder. I wonder, guys. I feel like we're a voyeurs right now, looking in other people's houses. Look at that. Oh, there's a shoe rack. Now tell me you're not excited for the next era of gaming. The Apple building? Is there an Apple building? Let me find it. Let's see. There's got to be an Apple building somewhere. Let's go down here. Look at this. This is just crazy. I feel like I'm in a real world. Oh, someone's yelling for a taxi. Alright, where's the Apple building, guys? Where is it? Is it over here? Oh, there's a big truck. Maybe we should take a look at one of the other demos now. But I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is this is this is incredible, guys. This is all running in real time and I'm flying around it. I'm really impressed. Let's go under this bridge. It's just so impressive. You could let this just sit here and you could stream this to YouTube. No, um, Quantum Chris, this isn't New York. It's just a, it's a city generated for the Unreal 5 demo world. It really does feel like you're in a city. Hope you guys are getting all those deep sounds. Look at how fast you can just zoom. Oh, oh, someone just crashed. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Someone just... Whoa, guys, we got, we got some serious bugs. I'm so happy we're streaming right now. So this is what we're going to try to avoid for the Unreal 5. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty stoked on that. Let's just stay here for a bit, eh? Uh, I'm going to, oh, uh, let's, let's alt tab out so I can turn down the volume because it's kind of awful. There you go. No more desktop volume, but I want to see what happens here. All the cars are gone. Is that gonna guy gonna start? Is he gonna start a? Is this gonna be a traffic jam because of a glitch? What is that guy doing? Pretty good glitch, guys. Pretty good glitch. Oh, I guess he hit the side of that car. Ghosts, guys. Ghosts in the machine. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, I guess the chat's in the way. There you go. The traffic jam is starting to pile up. Oh, I just got hit by a car.
Uh oh, they've sent reinforcements, guys. Do you see that? <laughs> ah, that's a good question, Day Razor. Are you a quantum holder? Well, we're going to leave this this car to his own demise. Look at the pileup he's starting to happen. Can I run into this cop? I don't know. Oh, they're starting to go forward. Did he disappear? Oh, he did, the bug car. They must be running some kind of an algorithm that makes them disappear when I turn my back. Oh, oh my god, I just caused... My character just caused that. Um, so there's lots of aspects that I probably shouldn't talk about. One of them is that Moonland, we're going to try our best. Now I say try our best because it's still, as we switch to Unreal 5, we are discovering the new ways to do things. But one of our goals is to use all the chains. So, yes. Oh, look at that. Every time I, I run in front of a car, I destroy it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Let's see, how much more damage can I do? Oh no, did we lose it? No. Oh, we're gonna follow this car that we've destroyed. Ah, well. Let's go up to the top of the building. Let's go up to the sky, guys. But yeah, uh, yeah, the concept right now is that we will be on multiple chains. Uh, you'll be able to import assets or save files or not files. What am I talking about? Uh, save your NFTs to different chains. Look at the quality even on the rooftops. This is insane. Look at this, guys. Look at this. So imagine bringing your girlfriend Kimmy up to the top of the roof in the Moonland Main City hub. And just looking out at everything. Or, I hope none of you guys are scared of falling. Whoa. No, 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 no. Yep. Don't worry, we're still good. We're still good. We're still here. Look, see? Oh, you know what we should do? We should spawn our character at the top. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, you felt yourself Spider-Man? Yeah, of course. Um, so, Jeep Wrangler? No, this is not Moonland. This is the Unreal 5 city demo that is allowing you to see what the potential for Moonland is with us switching to the Unreal 5 engine. Look at this. Look at this. We could have a city this big. And the good thing is that we're going to. The moon cities are going to be huge. The space that devours us and engulfs us is massive. Now let's fall all the way from here. What do you think? Here we go, guys. Right back down. Oh, well, we're going to stop right here. And we're going to hit, is it X? Oh, it doesn't let me place the character unless I'm on the ground. That sucks. There we go. And we're back, guys. Can she destroy the... No. Let's see, I want to run into a car, you think?
Jeep Wrangler are, I guess, pre-alpha. Um, for the character creator, we'll open when we start opening our website. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm gonna exit this now, guys. I didn't realize we're already 12 minutes past time, but that's okay. We're going back to this. We'll just go in here. Now we're back just to the pre-creator. Look at the difference, different quality in the bricks, guys. Look at that quality. In this game, we're gonna be able to do this with our characters. Maybe next week we'll have some of our characters in this city level. Maybe that's what we should make next uh, stream about. Maybe we'll try as a team to just import our characters. I see that there's lots of missing aspects here. You see that? Like, look at this. This is called Bug World. Hello, um, yes, God. Uh, I, I feel like you forgot something here. Um, please, can you put it back? All right, guys, that's back to this. This is, again, our characters are gonna be in the Unreal Engine very soon. All these, let's do another round through them. Look at how good they look, guys. This is, this is what we're gonna show you soon. This is what's coming at, coming at you. All of these, I cannot wait to announce our big project. So, that's it guys. We've gone through and we've talked a lot and obviously that section of the green screen is not there. Come on, camera. Nope, sorry guys, we're, we're a little uh, cocky right now. Let's see, boom, zoom back in, there we go. And that's it, that's our Moonland stream for this week. I'm so happy you guys joined in with us. Yeah, you were, yeah, I can't wait to. The very first Moonland, um, Multiplayer demo is going to be launching within the next couple months, and you guys will see it here on Twitch first. Thanks, guys. I love you guys, and I will see you all next week. You guys are wrong. I'm, I have been reading all your comments. Uh, I'm looking forward to the day I come to Mulad. Thanks for the information, and Kieran, thanks. So good stream. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you all next week.